Not sure how long I'll make this video. I just want to do something quick. Um, if everything would go as planned, obviously I would start planting on Friday. This is Wednesday, May, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Um, I don't think the weather is going to cooperate. I kind of hope it does, but we'll see. Um, I have a piece of ground. Let me turn this around. I have a piece of ground that I think would actually be good to use as a test plot because, or not test plot, trial plot because, you know, you buy something new and using it for the first time, you don't want to, especially a planter, uh, you don't want to put that right out by the road for everybody and their brother to see how you screwed up how it wasn't planting when you thought it was and all the other fun stuff so i'm kind of hoping man it's bright and i got sunburnt from going out on the boat on saturday um yeah there's about three acres a three acre field that i think i can uh i'm gonna use the ripper here to work it up it's it's sod ish um, right now um, if it doesn't perform I'm you gonna use old seed from last year actually so um, yeah if uh, I want to use that to test out how to get the prescriptions uh, going on the new planner uh, how to uh, um, yeah test it out <laughs> so uh, gonna do that tonight run over with the ripper then go over it with the uh, field cultivator have that all hooked up and then pray that this is how bad it is you know you're praying right now that it doesn't rain so you can get the corn in and then uh, all summer you pray for it to rain and that's just the nature of it um, it's bright so anyways I will uh, get this back to where the tractors at get it hooked up and use the ripper for the first time it would be nice so I left some ruts in this field. Uh, can't see it, but I left some ruts there when I was doing potash and it would be nice to actually go with the ripper and go down the tracks to get those taken care of because I think I hard panned it a little. Um, but, but yeah, it actually looks a little wet. Um, kind of hoping the rain misses us crazy to think but yep that's that's where we're at so I will get off before you just looking at my red face and sunburn so get some video of the ripper I'm really hoping <laughs> I don't have to take the hammer strap off I wouldn't think they'd put that like that Okay, well that's good. That would have been disappointing. That well, took a little bit longer than I thought I was going to, to hook up. Got it though. I don't know. The gentleman I bought it from had said that they, uh, they had been trying to tighten up linkages. What I almost think that they did was uh, uh, they put the cylinder stop on and then like, I don't know, um, hook the cylinder pivot back up. See all these deer, my goodness. It's the problem with this area is everybody is just waiting to shoot the big ones, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten? Over ten deer. Wow. Well, there's two more. Three more. Wow. I just... It gets frustrating, the, uh, the people who just shoot something. They cause so much damage here in Michigan. But, uh, anyways, 
I think they put the stop on and then put the linkage back up. So it was a pain in the butt to, to get the stop off. Um, so, I gotta worry about that. Make the way back to the to the back part here and see how it goes. Got my Integra all set up to. Uh, I need the. Uh, I need to get a boundary in so I can do the prescription because it doesn't seem to. Like the SMS SMS software doesn't seem to uh, want to let me create a boundary of the field. Um, just from the program itself, so we'll do this here. So focus on this. So that used to be an old irrigation pond that actually has really good fishing. It goes all the way up um, the length of it, but this little field, my dad and brothers used to do um it's just kind of been nothing since we'll see if the ripper does if it doesn't do it work up really nice i'm not going to worry about it i just thought that i could use it for uh more of a test to see how it goes so yeah we'll see This field is a little wet. I mean, I I, knew, I did know that it was um, from the years of doing uh, doing it before. Um, there's spots and probably really being sod as well. I don't know. Uh, not drain the best, but it will still accomplish what. I want it to in the sense of being able to test out the planter without doing a main field and I don't know, it's going to be about three acres, so heck, with the old seed might as well use it, so I don't mind. <laughs> Finish. Finish this up with some Enros and uh, call it tonight. I don't think I'm going to bring the field cultivator back and do this tonight because uh, I really don't know what the weather is going to do tomorrow. Figured I'd finish this today. So I did have last night the hydraulic hose break right at the uh, remote. So for the rear. Uh, this gang but thankfully um so it had broke right there but thankfully it was just a 12 foot hose that already had a uh a tie-in so it wasn't an overly long hose or one that was fed through any sort of frame so i got that changed out i do want to try this Again, in just some of the in one particular spot that, uh, or some spots that may have had some compaction. Uh, but besides that, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hook the field color up and go with that tonight too.